Hi, I am Paul Morrison, author of Treat a Table and owner of The Wood Cycle. From the road, our business looks much like a typical Wisconsin farm, but behind the scenes, it is from this repurposed farmstead that we run an entirely new breed of custom woodworking, a business model that is emerging from coast to coast. When I first opened my doors, our business model was unique to our area and virtually an unknown across the entire U.S. Today, however, we are just one business in a rapidly growing movement that this book introduces. Our custom woodworking business is unique in several regards. For starters, we don't get our wood from a lumber yard. We instead run our own sawmill so that we can decide how to make the best use of a log and maximize its potential, not only in yield, but in quality and character. We feel this is important because these are not ordinary logs from some nameless woodlot. These are logs that came from the backyards of people and businesses right here in the Madison, Wisconsin area. They came from people that cared about their trees and only removed them because they had to. This growing network of urban sawyers and woodworkers doesn't harvest logs simply because they are big enough or good enough. Instead, we work with trees that are only coming down for other reasons. Trees such as this pile of ash that was removed from a Madison Park because of the invasive emerald ash borer and will soon be countertops just six miles up the road from us in some new apartments. And trees such as our own backyard bur oak here that looked weak two summers ago then died completely this past summer. It really is a sad day when we lose trees like this giant and extra tough for us this year since we are losing a pair of beautiful bur oaks that have graced our yard since well before we moved here. But the good news is that while this one falls, there is a seedling at its base that will soon be growing strong and is also not the end for this tree. Yes, some parts will end up on the firewood pile, but that firewood is also used right here to feed our boiler, which in turn heats both our wood drying kiln and the entire wood cycle operation. Other parts from our tree will eventually stock our drying kiln and after several months to perhaps a few years later, it will move across the yard to our custom shop where it will once again shine as a finished product. A product such as this black locust table that we'll be rolling out the door tomorrow. This is a story told in Tree to Table, the emergence of the urban wood movement. Actually, the wood cycle story is just part of a chapter in this book that covers the emergence of an entirely new perspective on what is possible from the trees we love after they fail. That story is the Tree to Table movement. Just consider the beauty in this one slab. One slab from one of many trees with local stories that are being preserved by craftsmen that live in your own neighborhoods and support your local economy. Check out what is happening in Tree to Table by Pass 9 Publishing.